You are one of the many songwriters and artists mm -hmm. who are looking at AI and saying, no, this is a problem. Why? Uh, man, I, okay. I, I look at AI the way, the way I look at fire, right? Now, with fire, you can warm a home, you can, you can, you can uh, uh, create a, a beautiful home-cooked meal, but you can also burn a house down with fire. So it's not necessarily that it's a bad thing. It's, it's a bad thing depending on how it's being used. And my challenge to, to the AI, the, the people creating the AI is, show me the positive aspect of this. Show me, show me what positivity is gonna come from being able to not only take my voice, but take my writing style, take my whole likeness, my everything, and do with it whatever the hell y'all want. Like, show me the positive aspect of that. That's all I'm saying. Well, they would say, well, we're able to have creativity, but you would obviously think that it's stifling or trying to make obsolete the true human creatives. How is it creative to mimic me? Mm -hmm. What makes that, what, where's, where's the creativity in that? You're basically just doing your best imp imp impression of me. I don't, I don't see the creativity in it. I don't when you, understand. When you look at it, and I, I hear you when you know, there are concerns. I, I don't like being duped, right? When I think I'm t trying to hear a particular artist, mm -hmm. I want to support the artist. I don't want to have a cheap imitation. I wonder from the songwriting perspective, especially when someone's trying to piece together, oh, here's a style like Neo or a mm -hmm. style like this artist, as opposed to going right to you, it's also a financial cost. It can definitely be a financial cost. I, I mean, so I, I'm one of the few artists in this game that doesn't necessarily do it for the money in it. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I have a family and, and my family likes to eat. However, <laughs> I do music because I love music and my music means something to me. So it's, it's, it runs a little deeper to me when you play me a song with my voice on it that I know I didn't sing all right. Like that's, that you're basic, you're taking my livelihood from me. Like it's, it's more than just the financial element of it. Yeah, you're, you're making it a little bit harder for me to make money doing what I do the way that I do it. But at the same time, I've worked blood, sweat, and tears to learn how to do what I do. Like, it makes me, th okay, it, it goes to this. If there was a shoe that anybody in the world could put on and play just like any of the greatest NBA players on the face of the planet, what, how would the NBA players feel about that? Now anybody can play your game. Now people can come in and do exactly what you do, exactly the way you do it, by simply putting on this shoe. Is that, is, like, is that fair? Think about, think about that NBA player that, had, that, that t spent blood, sweat, and tears and years learning how to do what it is they do, the way that they do it, so good to where they earn the right to be in the NBA, and here comes somebody with this shoe, with this magical shoe, that can now do what, exactly what you do. I mean, there are protections. I started out in private practice looking at copyrights and trademarks, and you could not, not police your rights, right? If you had a brand or otherwise, and you didn't police them, you lose the ability to own it exclusively. AI seems to me to be part of that frontier of, well, if you don't police it, that fire, as you say, from that analogy, could burn the creative house. Exactly, exactly. And mind you, I'm, I'm, I'm under the absolute understanding that AI is the wave of the future. Mm -hmm. It ain't going nowhere no time soon. I get that, I understand that. All I'm saying is there should be something in place to protect the humans. I mean, if that's if that there, be, there should be something in place to protect us from what from the possibilities of this going the wrong way because it could very easily go the wrong way. Somewhere there's a Terminator movie and John Connor is looking I'm, to figure out what I'm the answer to this to is. People. I know, but you know, I, here how about Devil's Advocate though? Maybe it's Beatles Advocate because okay. you know John Lennon's voice was. I guess revived is the best way to call it, mm -hmm. um, in a song that was led by Paul McCartney. And some said, well, this is an example of how AI could be used to bring back some. In fact, let me look, play it for you for a second, what it sounded like. So they're trying to bring back in his voice, obviously, has passed away many years ago. Would that mm -hmm. be an example to you of a use that allows you to honor the essence of an artist no. without, oh, okay. No, because is it honor? He didn't sing that. That's not his voice. That is a computer doing its best impersonation of his voice. Somebody tried to give me that same argument, like, okay, well, what if they use AI to, to bring back your, your, your grandmother's voice and have your grandmother tell you that she loves you one more time? I would be offended because that's not my grandmother. That is a computer pretending to be my grandmother. And it will never be my grand. That will never be John Lennon. I don't care well, this what this is. This is a purification. I, I hear your point. But I, think, I think in this instance, the AI purified the voice in a way that, um, to sweeten the sound. But I, I take your point completely about 
the frustrations that you feel when just thinking about the stifling of creativity. And you're, you're not alone, by the way, in feeling that way. But in terms of how you regulate it, I had to turn to the political side because mm -hmm. Congress, as you know, is not known to be at the, um, the forefront of the class when it comes to innovation. The bureaucracy mm -hmm. is a very, very tangled web. Do you see a world where they could regulate it in a way that stays in line with the innovation? It's hard. I, I don't know. I, that is not my, my uh, that's, that's not where my expertise falls. Mm -hmm. I certainly hope so. Because again, like I said, I know I know that AI is the next wave. It's, it's not going anywhere. It's it's as we speak, it's replacing people. It, it's taking jobs away from people as we speak. So, and I know that that's not going to stop. I understand that. I'm simply saying, if we're going to go this way, how about we protect the originals? How about we protect the people that 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 started doing this in the first place from from this going from this going left? That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying down with AI. I'm not saying that at all. It's coming. All right. It's it's here. It's here. But just because it's here does not mean that I have to, I have to be basically robbed of my livelihood because, because of technology. I, don't, I just don't see, the, I don't see the right in that. Something tells me that with your opinions that you have and um, the expertise that you bring, and obviously your fan base, so extensive, I can't imagine that there are not candidates who would love for you to endorse them, love for you to be beside them. You've performed at the White House in the past mm -hmm. as well. You know, there was a huge fundraiser. A lot of celebrities, a lot of singers were there last week for President Biden. Um, and Obama was there, Clinton was there. I wonder, do you feel a pressure, given your platform, to get more involved in politics or to state your political views? Not really, not pressure. I mean, if you ask me a question, I'll answer your question, but uh, I, I'm, it's, it's not really something that I that I get into too heavily. Not really, no. Are you who are you going to vote for? I don't know yet. I, I'm going to take my time and look at everybody there and see and see who makes the most sense with what I feel and what I think, and vote for that person. I can't really tell you who that is just yet. You look at the likes of over recently. I think about Angel Reese. I think about Lizzo. Yeah, I think about. Yeah. I mean, you can name just a thousand people if we had enough time. Who they not people not knowing them in a respectful way. It's robbing them of dignity. It mm. is assuming that they can hide behind the anonymity and, and be reckless towards them. Mm. Forget the, the pl uh, plight of a fan. How about the joy of the anonymous troll? Oh, I, 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 I don't even allow myself to be bothered by that. Because you said it yourself, they're, they're, they're trolls. They're, they're, you have to look at that as entertainment. Social media is entertainment. You can't take anything that anybody says about you serious on social media, knowing for a fact that there are people out there that are waiting for you to, to that, are, that are trying to say the most negative thing they can to get you to respond. Like, why would you even give them the satisfaction of, like, I don't block people. I don't do any of that because why would I give you the satisfaction of knowing that you bugged me at all? Like, if, if that's what, you, if your game is negativity, you don't exist to me. That's the way you deal with, with trolling and, and internet bullying. They don't exist until you make them exist. Words have no power other than the power you give them. But you gotta think about it like this, you're having a great day. You wake up, the sun is shining, you give a stretch, you go to work, everybody's smiling, everybody's happy, and then here comes Mr. Troll or Mrs. Troll with something negative to say about you. And what, all of a sudden you're not having a good day no more? Mm. Why? Why? Why would you give that person that power over you? Why would you let that person decide that your good day is done? Why would you do that? Again, I don't know you. You don't know me. You can say whatever you choose. Say whatever you want. I don't have to accept it. I don't have to listen to it. I don't have to make it fact. I don't have to make it real. I do that. If I'm bugged by what you said, I just made what you say matter. Mm. So if I choose to not make what you say matter, then you don't matter. Well, man, I can't fit that all in a T-shirt or a mug. But I'm going to have to wear that <laughs> mantra. I will. Let me ask you one last question, though, about the power of words, because um, sometimes the words are a category of artist, mm. the genre of music that you're supposed to be in. And at times, it's a pigeonhole, isn't it? It's, this mm. is the kind of artist you are. You, could, you sing this music. You write this music. Mm -hmm. That must be frustrating at times, and it's not the fluidity of the genre. Well, you just create the work. Mm. Is the... The assignment of the genres difficult. Sometimes, and it, and it's just it's it's again it's a human thing. We categorize to make things easier for us to swallow. You know, mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, I, I I instantly think of Beyonce. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. and, and, the, and the country album that she just put out. I instantly think of her too, actually, but go ahead. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and you know what, I don't, I don't, I, I, I'll put it this way, I understand the flack, but I don't understand the flack mm -hmm. because I view Beyonce as an artist. Just an artist because she's done hip hop music, she's done R and B music, she's done pop music. If Beyonce put out a polka album, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think twice because it's Beyonce. She's an artist. She's an artist who is doing art, and that's just, that's what that's what it is, and that's what it should be. That's how that's how it should be viewed. Now, of course, everybody can't be as enlightened as I, and that's fine. <laughs> However, if you take a second and just stop trying to put everything in a box and just listen to what it is, you might actually find some appreciation for it. Beyonce is an amazing artist, and I personally feel like she could do any form of music. Any style of music that she chooses is gonna be great because she's a great artist, and that's the way that it should be viewed. Not not all of this, uh, like she's stepping into somebody else's lane. Who, who says it's your lane? It's just music. All the music comes from somewhere, and I can almost guarantee that in a lot of cases, it don't come from where you think it comes from. 